you want to learn how to color grade so let's hop into it by the end of this video i want to ensure that you know a little bit more than you did about color grading in davinci resolve so if that sounds exactly like what you're looking for then hello welcome uh happy to have you here hope you're doing well and if you're new here i'm a content creator and i make videos about videos and sometimes sometimes i make videos about my life if you want to see that though you got to head over to my instagram at winhuber if that interests you make sure to subscribe and stick around no this is not an official mic stand it's just the tripod i had lying around and it works okay don't don't judge the setup okay we're all just trying to make it in this world all right so i have three well maybe i should start the screen share so that you can actually see what i'm doing okay so we are in davinci resolve so here are the three clips we have one night shot one outdoor shot and then one it's indoor but it's night it's in a subway i try to give three different variations so that you can kind of get a gist for how to color grade those scenarios all right so we're gonna hop into the color tab with our first clip selected now i just want to preface that i'm still learning about how to color grade in davinci resolve it's a an amazing platform there's so many capabilities but once again i'm still learning so there might be things that i'm not doing technically correct but we're here to just get the aesthetic all right <laughs> so i'm going to go ahead and make six to seven nodes and, I, and you can do that by hitting alt s that might be the Mac button and then S. Um, I am on Mac, but I have a, a keyboard that my girlfriend got me and it's nice, but I had to kind of reconfigure my controls so that I could kind of understand because it's geared towards Windows. Anyways, back into the video. So I'm gonna make a okay, roughly seven. The thing with nodes is whatever you do here is gonna affect here and it's gonna keep trickling down. So you wanna make sure you do everything relatively in that sequence. First thing what I'm gonna do is I like to take the third node. I'm gonna label this the CST which is the color space transform. And that's basically what we're gonna use to convert this S-Log2 footage to Rec 709. So if you film with an iPhone or another DSLR, you can find the correct settings here. Um, let's go to input gamma. That one is S-Log2. So already we're seeing a lot of color. Output color space, we're gonna make that Rec 709. Cool, so you can see that there's a lot of reds right here and we're getting some slight greenish kind of beige color over here. All right, so now I like to label this one. I'm gonna call this like contrast and I'm gonna call this uh white balance i don't know i don't know what to call this one because this is the one where i kind of use for the colors so i'm gonna call this one glow and i'm gonna call this one light. this one's kind of just extra just in case i want to use it but typically i use this for curves or or skin so before i start getting into everything the first thing i'm going to do is go to lut and then i'm going to go to film looks and then i'm going to go to rec 709 kodak 2383 d55 this one gives you that film kind of look but this is kind of giving us that base look now obviously right now we can tell it's quite dark it's super super contrasty not exactly what i'm looking for but we're gonna we're gonna get there Right now, I'm gonna go to the contrast node and I'm gonna up the up the gain just a little bit just to see what we're working with. Also, I should probably switch this to waveform so I can kind of take a look at that. I'm gonna up the gamma and I'm gonna bring down the lift a little bit. And I'm actually gonna up the gain, lower the gamma, that, and then up the lift just a tad so that it brightens up our shadows a little bit. I'm not gonna white balance it, but typically you might wanna do that if you haven't already white balanced your image prior to filming. But I kind of like this green vibe, so I'm gonna keep that. And now here is where the big stuff happens, I guess. Typically, I like to start with the lift. Now, I know I want the darker areas to be a little bit blue, a little bit greenish. So I'm going to pull that down. And already, you can see we're already getting getting that nice greenish, uh, bluish look to it. So far, it's looking pretty good. But the first thing I noticed is that the sign is completely blown out. So I didn't realize that until just looking now. So I just dropped down this a little bit more. Also, I'm going to up the saturation by 10. So I'll bring up to 60 and it's it's helping a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna just bring this up a little bit back up. And the last thing is we're gonna add a glow. I really like adding glow because it makes it feel like more cinematic and less digital. In order to add glow, you add, just add glow right there and you bring the shine threshold, the shine, shine threshold down, drop the opacity and then go to composite type and switch it to soft light. So right now you might not notice a ton, a huge difference, but obviously if you up the opacity, you can see the bright areas get brighter and it obviously softens the look. Well, you can see a difference when you turn it on and off. Like it's, it's pretty slight. I'm thirsty. Are you thirsty? You should get some water because uh, it's gonna be quite the video. Um, I'm thinking that's looking pretty good. I really like how the shadows right here are a little bit greenish 
and you can see that uh, remnants of the red on the tree leaves. That's super, super cool. So I'm thinking this clip is actually almost color graded already. So let's see a little bit of before and after. Before and after. So that's clip one. Let's move on to the second clip and take a look at an outdoor daytime setting. Now I'm gonna do something that if you're an experienced colorist or a color grader, you might cringe at me for. So if you're one of those people, I'm giving you a warning, uh, you don't wanna see this. So what I'm about to do is uh, just see what this color grade would look like on this clip. Now these are two completely different scenarios and in you know most professional scenarios, you probably don't wanna do this, but we're a lifestyle content creator, real TikTok, Instagram, YouTube shorts, okay? I, I, don't, I don't think you're gonna to care too much, okay? Anyways, that's my little spiel. Okay, so how to apply a color grade from a clip that's already color graded. All you need to do is make sure your clip is selected first. So that's clip that we want the color grade on and then select the clip that already has the color grade and then hit apply grade. Okay, and that's not too bad. Obviously it's way too blue and not exactly what I'm going for. So I want it to be a little bit more green, gray right here, grayish blue, greenish right here, and a little bit of a, almost like a like golden hour type vibe, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to color. So I'm gonna offset that by adding some of that nice warm tones on the gamma wheel. Let's add some more with the gain. So that's kind of cool. We have a little bit of green quite exposed. So I'm going to just drop it down. We're starting to get some blue skies at the background. I didn't even know that was there. Okay. The highlight is quite bright. So I think I need to just punch more down lower. I like it. It kind of gives me like a cool film vibe. So just to add a little bit more bluish is, um, I'm going to go to this log wheel right here. I'm gonna drag that down and it's going to give me a little bit more of that color and for the mid-tones i'm gonna add a little bit of that as well to kind of get that golden look that we're looking for just play around with it you know see where it takes you and i'm kind of liking the vibe already now one thing i might do i'm gonna go back to our glow node and i'm gonna go to color filter select that you know as you can see this like dramatically affects the color pretty significantly and the nice thing is if i turn this up obviously that's too much but i'm gonna drop it down and i'm gonna just add just a little hint of it so this looks a little bit more greenish to me so sweet i think that looks pretty good so let's move on to our second clip see again let's let's do the thing that i said you shouldn't do so let's see what that looks like this one's not bad it's really green so before i do anything remember that the glow that we said was at a more yellowish tone so i'm gonna bring that back just so that we have a more neutral um standpoint for when we do this color grade otherwise when we do everything here and then we're like oh shoot this is too yellow and then we change it it's gonna just affect everything so up the gain a little bit and drop the gamma. I want a little bit less contrast so that the blur kind of looks like it having more of that effect. And then I'm gonna drop down my lift. So to combat the warmness vibe that I was talking about, I'm gonna bring this down a little bit to the uh, bluer side of things. And I think that's looking pretty good. I really like that vibe. Now I'm gonna add a noise overlay, which you can get yourself. Link is in the description. It just adds a nice vibe to the video to give that more vintage look. If you're in the color, you're gonna go back to the edit. You're gonna drag this over your clip and you're gonna go to the composite mode and make sure you go down to overlay. And boom, you have this nice uh, noise effect. So if we disable it, this is the before and after. It gives it just a nice texture. And that's pretty much it. I hope you had a fun time learning about how to color grade in DaVinci Resolve for beginners. And I'm really looking forward to your clips. So definitely send your clips to me, uh, to my Instagram, and I'll check them out. I hope I taught you good. I hope you come out of this learning a lot more uh, than you did before. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. And I hope to see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and all the other things YouTubers tell you. <laughs> I'm gonna stop recording now.